you know, those people who really appreciate art look at it like a, it's like a life, a life form that, that occupies space in your home, very much like a plant giving, giving artistic value to the space. Some of you may be wondering why, uh, why are we talking to a maverick curator of art? First and foremost, what an amazing, uh, what an amazing entrepreneurial endeavor, because I'm assuming to go from where you are here at the Collab Factory, the, the end goal for you is to open your own gallery. Exactly, get a space and, and be there for like 10, 20 years, 30 years, yeah. So you're at the beginning of the fight. Yeah. Even though you went to school and to college, you were an artist yeah. and trombone, and then you went to graduate school and all this takes time and, and investment of energy right. and then and developing the relationships you're developing here. Now we're talking about really the beginning of, of the, the entrepreneurial you know, battle that you're in, in due for, but using all of the education and passion you have to get into that battle, which right. is to you know, find a gallery, open it, but then also display to a landlord saying, hey, look, I've got these uh, artists, I've done these uh, independent shows where we've made this kind of money uh, because they're going to ask. Right, yeah. So it's, it's really a cross-section of art and business. Mm -hmm. It's a real interweave. Let's talk about the, uh, the upcoming yes. uh, show we have here at the Collab Factory. Uh, coming up, which is very exciting. Which, by the way, I'm I'm super excited about uh, about about having the um, the art show here because yeah. I feel like uh, entrepreneurs, startups, and artists, dancers, actors really don't realize. I think entrepreneurs don't realize how how their struggle is an artist struggle because no one else in the world works harder than an artist to work. So you work to work, right? right? An artist is working a job as a bartender, an engineer. Maybe he's you know he or she is. Uh, is even in downtown doing you know doing some kind of investment banking but that he or she is definitely looking to sell their art be that actor make that film tell that story right yep. so it's powerful it's really um, it's really the underdog story um, so tell us about this art show yeah so um, it's called but what about me and um, I am displaying two abstract painters um, one painter Manuel Angesia he is born and raised in Oakland California and he's still there. Um, I went to graduate school with him. And then the other artist is Jewel Kornefell, and she's from Germany, and now she's finishing up her final year uh, of her MFA at Hunter College. Um, and with these two artists, I just, I had this, this like grand vision in mind, and, and the vision's been quite difficult to put into words. Um, but I just, I have these two artists, and they're both from um, different backgrounds, and so, but they have a very similar aesthetic, um, and they're both very process oriented, and so I just wanted to see what would happen if I put these two painters together in a show, 